um, I'm still, I think I've got my, my wobbly video issue sorted by mounting the camera to the wall. However, I didn't like the camera angle, but I think I've got a new, uh, I adjusted a little bit and I think this is going to work where I have it right now. Um, so this is really a test cut, but just me toying around with this, just going to face off this, this bolt with my custom high speed steel. Um, and I'm going to check the video for wobbliness too. So I'm going to tack this on the end of the video just for something to do. Um, anyway, that's just a brief explanation of what this content is right here. So let's get this started. Make sure everything's cleared. Good, good, good. So hopefully this angle is better. The idea is that I have no wobble and that the angle is much better. Um, I know this is sticking out really far. I'm not gonna do a tailstock or a center. Um, I'm just toying around. Take really light cuts. Definitely sticking out way too far. You can see the effects of that stock. Makes sense. So, to all you guys out there that will say I need a live center on that, you're right. But I'm just just testing things, messing around. See if I can get this finish cleaner uh, using my custom high speed steel. I'm really just looking to get a. You're right, you're all right. It's just sticking way too far out. But now I have practical experience why. Let's chuck that up like that. Unlock this. Now let's face that off. piece must be magnetic or something. Way better. All right. Definitely, I think that thing's magnetic, whatever it is. That finishes way better so the idea this was so rough when i when i was doing my testing i think i had a pretty dull bit i'm gonna clean this up as best i can i want a shiny rod uh try to, i'm trying to improve my finishes so i'm gonna get this faced off on this side so i at least have something that i can work with and we'll just keep turning messing around We're about 350, 400, 300 RPMs. Again, this is my custom high-speed steel grind. Let's see what that looks like. 300 RPM. better nice and smooth I mean pretty smooth for what it is I don't think I can 
let's see how I can do this. Maybe I can get creative here, try something silly. Um, I'm gonna pause you here, I got an idea. Maybe a bad idea, but I got an idea. Okay, it's a bad idea. I haven't started it up, but I thought, oh, I'll get clever here and I'll, I'll just mount it with my drill chuck. Well, this doesn't spin. That would be pretty ignorant to get this, <laughs> get this spinning. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, probably destroy something. But again, that's part of the thought process for me. I get ideas, I try things, um, but just be careful as you're implementing things and trying different things. They get through before you just turn the machine on. Um, but at the moment, this is uh, not gonna work. As I was saying, this is a bad idea, but I wanted to share that with you um, that Sometimes you'll have ideas, just, just kind of go with them, mock them up, but do some thinking before you just click the machine on. Um, but this doesn't spin, so this would clearly be an issue. You know, you're gonna destroy something or just wear out your chuck. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show that to you. I think what I am gonna do is I'm gonna chuck this thing back up, I'm gonna flip it over just like I had it, and I will go ahead and put a, a hole in the, in the end for a live center. Um, that's what this is for and this is all learning as well. Again, hopefully the camera angle is good. All of this segment is about uh, the camera angle and um, just doing some more tests. I wanna clean this up though and make this a smoother piece. So let's get this thing out of here. This was a just, just a failed idea, but I wanted to share that with you. I'll bring you back. All right, let's see what we can do. Still learning about center drilling and getting things to work out. A little bit of oil. This is all tightened up pretty good. Take it real slow. Last time I used this, the other side of this bit is the broken one. Not a great tail stop. It's this thing in here's got some play, so I'm trying to snug it a little bit, still get it to move. Once this gets started, it does okay. It's gonna break. Tail already. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna get that hole drilled. This is just gonna go on and on. enough for these tests. Kind of wipe that off. Get a towel. Need to get some air someday. But for now, 
I'm doing fine. Put the live center in. I have, I am glad though that I'm able to use this tail stock a little bit better. It is improving. I'm getting it with each time that I use it, I'm getting it a little bit better. Um, let's get this out of the way. So the idea is just to, just to play around, turn this thing. Now that we have that hole drilled, clean it out. Probably would be good to chamfer it a little bit. Maybe I will, just cause. Let's get this back in here. Take this out. So again, quick change. You can see that good. Um, what I'm gonna do is chamfer the inside of that hole so when I put it on the live center, there won't be an issue. And since I have quick change, I can do that quite easily. Uh, we'll see how easily. Yeah, that'll clear just enough. I don't want to go any further than that. All right. Break, cut, last video. Okay, I've got my quick change tool post mounted. I'm getting ready to turn this on. All I'm gonna do is chamfer the inside of that hole before I do the live center, just to save any wear and tear, excessive wear and tear on that live center. I think it'll work. There we go. Don't need much. I think that's good. I can't get in there too much with this particular tool anyway. Um, it's very, uh, it's just got your standard insert, so they, you know, there's not a lot of room to get this point inside such a small hole. It rubs, so. But that's, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is get this set up and we'll keep going. Clean that down, bring it back. Loosen it up. And again, I just want to get that just a couple teeth on the jaw because I'm going to then flip this all around and clean up the rest of that once we're done. But there we go. Lock, tighten that up a little bit, tighten that up. Lock that in, bring this around. Now we're just gonna practice testing this out. I don't know how close I'll be able to get to this end, but this end was already smooth. So really I'm gonna focus on this thicker portion of the shaft. Um, my tool post just clears, but I think what I'm gonna do is bring forward my steel in order to prevent from hitting the tool holder. So let's go ahead and do that.
That'll work. Still have three grub screws holding it in. I think we're gonna be just fine. If I can get that in there. All right, there's our setup. We're gonna clean up as much of this material as we can and see what the finish turns out. definitely smoother it doesn't look great I'm assuming that the stock itself is pretty low quality if I remember right this was a just like a L handle for something it's not the greatest of metal but it's good to just mess with I'll bring you right back I'm gonna try a little faster speed this time. That was 250, 300 RPMs. Let's go a little faster this time. It's very smooth, very, very light pass, but that's pretty smooth. Let's take a little heftier cut. Whoops, that's a little rougher. So whatever this material is, um, it doesn't like the faster cut. I suppose my, my high speed steel could be getting dull, but I don't think so. Um, this needs slow, the slower the better for whatever this rod is. I'm gonna go back to one more pass. Try to clean it, make it smooth again, uh, and we'll go a little bit slower. <laughs> Getting dull. Probably not supposed to stop that while it's on the cutting surface. Something I'll remember. I'm gonna take this out of here, sharpen it up, and then we'll come back in and we'll do this one more time. There's still a little bit of a lip there. I'll bring you right back. All right, I did not regrind it. I just touched it up on the honing stone. I used this guy here, another Harbor Freight special. Um, I just want to see if I can make this smoother. This this got pretty rough, so I'm going to say that my cutting tooling was dull. Let's see what happens. That's, 
That's not great. It's fine though, I'm done messing with this piece of stock. I am gonna clean it up just a minute, just a little bit, because I do wanna, I do want to flip it around and just clean up that point, because I did use this as a, like a, live, a dead center. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this a separate video of just more testing, um, just learning and, and messing around with different components on the machine. And um, I don't, I think this material is just total junk. So what I wanna do is put some other, something else in there to see how, how it behaves. But anyway, it's just some test material. Nothing I really need or want to mess with too much. Um, what else we got in here? Let's see. Let's see how the high-speed steel does with with this stock that I previously cleaned up. This pin. Get this mounted up. Out there. We'll play with that. All right, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna clean this. This is a different material, different steel. It's like an old pin for like a snowplow blade. So it should be pretty hard material, but I wanna try my custom high-speed steel tooling on this versus this other piece. Th this material is just junk, really, whatever the quality, but it didn't need to be for what it was made for. All right. We're gonna do some more turning and then uh, I'll probably just end the video. It's just gonna be a, just a video of testing and turning and um, you know making sure everything's working the way it wanted to and uh, just more learning really.
that's good. I'm done messing around with that today. All right, so again, this is the kind of a secondary video to the previous, which was all about trying to get my camera from being wobbly. So this is a very lengthy video and just doing some test cuts, testing my high-speed steel, just playing around really. And uh, hopefully we now have an, a camera angle. So the last time I think I, on the last video I did, I, I think we resolved the, the wobbliness, but I didn't like the angle. So now I think we have an angle that's more pleasurable to watch. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Helps the channel. It's my next goal is to get a thousand subscribers. Um, thanks for all the positive comments and I hope to see you on the next one.